Welcome back as we work to connect with Jesus and each other. There's a story about a guy by the name of Archimedes who was given a task by the king to determine if the crown the king had was pure gold or not. Now, Archimedes was not allowed to break and destroy the crown to look inside to see if it was pure gold or not. And he also didn't have the same technology that we have that would be able to determine the chemical composition of the, the object. And so he had to figure out how to determine if the crown was pure gold or if there were some other metals that were involved with the crown as well. And so he was sitting in his bathtub one day and he was contemplating how when you get in your bathtub, you displace water. And he realized that different material has different density, which means that different material displaces water differently. So take silver and gold, for example. The same amount of weight of both displaces water differently. Silver, if five pounds of silver, displaces more water than five pounds of gold. And so he was able to get some silver, get some gold, see how much water they displaced, and then compare it to the crown. And he was able to discover that the crown itself was not full and pure gold. And it was a eureka moment where he was able to figure it out. See, what happens with displacement is that the, the level is raised. And in this instance, it's water that is raised. And so over here, I have five, uh, uh, two five-pound weights, so 10 total pounds. And I have 10 total pounds of lava rocks. And I also have this rubber duck just for fun. So you can put something like the rubber duck in the water, and it may displace just a little bit of water, but it really doesn't displace much at all because it's buoyant, it floats, and it doesn't displace anything. So I can put the two, ten, two five pound weights in here, and we can see it displaces a little bit of water. Now this bucket was almost all the way full, but even with those two five pound weights, there's no water that is rushing over the side of the bucket. So I can take the water out, or the, the weights out, Then we can dump in the lava rocks. Again, the, the lava rocks are the same weight as those iron weights. And we put in the lava rocks. And we see that a lot of water is being displaced. Now in Luke chapter 9, and Jesus sends his disciples to the surrounding area to preach the gospel and heal the sick. And so they go and do that, and, and they have these success stories that they're excited about. And, and, and they come back and they tell Jesus about them. But see, when the disciples went, their objective was to help people. When you heal someone, it helps them. They benefit from it. And the gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ has saved us. God has brought salvation. So their, their mission was to go and help people, to raise the level and help them to be better. And that's the exact mission that you and I have. Too many times we try to function like this rubber duck. We, you know, we've got this mission, but we're just going to stay right there. We may make a little impact, but we're not going to do much to raise the level. But even the, the, the weights, you know, they, they sink. They displaced water, but really not much. Now the lava rocks displaced a lot of water. They took up a lot of space. And, and the point is not that we're disrupting things. The point is that we're raising the level. You and I are called to be catalysts for Jesus. See, when I impact somebody else, it's not for my benefit, it's for theirs. I want them to be better. And I want them to experience and receive the saving grace of Jesus. So that's your mission. And I ask you, how are you raising the level? What impact are you having? Because we're all called to have an impact. And we are all able, through the grace of Jesus Christ, to have an impact. Stay connected to Jesus and each other.